the European Union has uh, uh, looked at coordinating this on behalf of uh, member states uh, and has coordinated discussions with producers, with pharmaceutical companies. I would like to recall once again that this negotiation was done together with uh, member states. The negotiation itself was uh, done together with the representatives of member states, first of all, and second of all, that all contracts were uh, given the green light by the member states, by all member states, who then also had the option, perhaps, if they so wished, to uh, carve an opt-out. Uh, or the, They had the right, they reserved the right, to not participate in the purchase of certain vaccines. And as far as I know, they all said that they wanted to continue going down this path. There is a governance mechanism in place that's common. It's a common governance mechanism when it comes to the implementation of this strategy, uh, European vaccination strategy. Is it easy to implement? Certainly not. Have member states uh, expressed worries? Well, just like us, absolutely. And it's perfectly normal for this to happen in the current circumstances. But... And that is the crucial point to take away from this, is that we need to remind ourselves that we ha if we hadn't negotiated this contract at European level, there would have been member states who would have had zero vaccines at this point in time, today. So from that point of view, European solidarity has enabled the EU and its member states to obtain contracts, to sign contracts for a delivery of a sufficient quantity of vaccines. There are certainly issues that need to be resolved, yes, and there are procedures that need to be smoothed out so as to ensure that the availability of vaccines, uh, as stated in the contracts, improves. And this is uh, really what the crux of the dialogue that's currently taking place uh, with producers such as AstraZeneca this week. I think that we're really uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the middle of this whole procedure, and I think that the... Uh, member states and the Commission do have to remain united so that we can uh, ensure that this uh, is a success. On your second question, is there any investigation ongoing uh, when it comes to or to find out whether certain doses might have left uh, EU plants towards the, uh, to, towards the United Kingdom? I don't know anything about this, but I can give the floor to Stefan to see if he has anything to add. Stefan says he has nothing to add. The idea is to have... Um, uh, transparency when it comes to this, uh, but uh, nothing to add uh, on top of that uh, on investigations that may or may not have taken place in this respect. Christian, Christian perhaps uh, to um, to be as uh, comprehensive as possible. I'd like to say that the mechanism that will be adopted, uh, the export authorization transparency mechanism, uh, will. Uh, have a, a technical briefing this afternoon at quarter past three with Commissioner Kyriakides. And it will uh, certainly be um, an opportunity to obtain more information when it comes to uh, exports of vaccines outside the EU.